Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The US-Japan-Netherlands Tripartite Agreement for Semiconductor Equipment was formulated quietly. At first, the United States did not admit that it had joined Japan and the Netherlands to target Chinese chip companies, but ASML bravely stood up to expose the news in order to protect its own rights and interests, and the United States had to admit the fact that the agreement was signed. At that time, Japan simply implemented a ban on the shipment of 23 chip-making equipment, directly lowering the restriction scope to 45 nanometers, while the Netherlands delayed for several months and eventually came to nothing, which directly angered the United States, and then implemented new regulations in an even more severe manner trying to interrupt ASML's maintenance services for lithography machines in the mainland market. Faced with such unreasonable behavior, China responded strongly. Once the lithography machine becomes scrap iron, it will be required to be recycled at the original price. Although European and American countries have been under the slogan of national security, they have not provided substantial evidence, and the Netherlands' position was not clear before the United States launched compulsory measures. Under the U.S.'s request to cut off supply, ASML's senior management said something meaningful. It will be increasingly difficult to find new reasons for national security in the future. ASML has always publicly opposed the ban on shipping lithography machines to China, repeatedly emphasized the importance of the Chinese market to ASML, and never gave up the idea of resuming supply. But unfortunately, the Netherlands' willpower is not firm, and it has harmed its own companies after all. Last year, Dutch senior officials also threatened to resolutely safeguard the interests of their own companies, and ASML also obtained a short exemption period, but it knew that this period might not last long so it shipped all DUV lithography machines to the Chinese market. However, the United States recently responded that it would return the authority of whether lithography machines can be shipped to the Netherlands, which means that the Netherlands has regained the autonomy to safeguard the interests of its own companies, but surprisingly, under the new round of sanctions from the United States, the Netherlands followed closely behind and gave way to the restrictions of the United States. According to news on January 15, local time, the Netherlands officially announced a new regulation that will strengthen export control measures for advanced semiconductor equipment. It is expected that starting from April 1st of this year, more types of equipment and technologies will be subject to national authorization requirements, including specific measurement and testing equipment. After the new regulations were promulgated, the top leaders also gave a perfunctory explanation doing this is to maintain control of technology. But it is obvious that the Netherlands understands the United States' retreat measures. The so-called explanation is just to cover up its own incompetence. Now it is completely controlled by the United States. 
Such new regulations are undoubtedly fatal to ASML, because this company is involved in measurement and testing equipment in addition to lithography machines. China's semiconductors are currently relatively low in terms of localization rate. In addition to relying on Japanese companies, most of them were imported by ASML. Once ASML gives up this part of the share, the equipment share of the Chinese mainland market will be occupied by clay and applied materials in the United States. The United States has not issued such a ban on its own companies. What is the purpose of constantly weakening ASML's international status? If the Netherlands cannot wake up in time, it will naturally suffer huge economic losses. Nowadays, Chinese companies are building a large number of new factories in China, and the demand for lithography equipment is naturally rising. ASML itself can occupy a large market share, but once the new regulations are officially implemented, ASML will not only be unable to ship lithography machines, but also the accompanying equipment. Then it will really leave the Chinese market completely. In short, the Netherlands has issued new regulations to strengthen export controls on semiconductor equipment, which are expected to be implemented on April 1st making way for U.S. restrictions. The new regulations are fatal to ASML, and Chinese semiconductors rely on its equipment. If the Netherlands is not sober, it will suffer economic losses, and ASML may completely leave the Chinese market. All restrictions of the United States are based on maintaining its own interests. If the Netherlands still persists, it will only gradually dissipate its technological foundation. Once China achieves the autonomy of equipment, ASML will have no chance at all. China will not give opportunities to companies that do not keep their integrity. What do you think of this?